Okay. Hey all, it's Jessica here, and I'm going to be showing y'all my chili recipe. It's obviously the perfect meal to have on a Sunday football game at home when you're hanging with your friends or your boyfriend or whomever, and you want a nice bowl of chili to watch your favorite team. So I'm gonna show y'all this really easy recipe and I'm gonna make it quick. So, I've already defrosted my meat. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in this, in this pot. And while I'm cooking that, I'm gonna put this bloody bowl away. Okay. So I'm gonna chop up my onion. And I know y'all can't see it, but you know what an onion pink chop looks like, I assume. Be careful to not slice your finger open because I've done that before. Now, I didn't use very much onion because I probably use a quarter of an onion because I'm out of onion. And I'm going to start letting my beef saute. Okay. For all y'all vegetarians, I'm very sorry. I put a little olive oil in just so it doesn't stick to the bottom. Okay. I'm gonna let that saute. Some of the things, vegetable, chili, if you can see that. Get that. Rotel. You should keep a lot of this in your fridge. My mom always says keep lots and lots of cans of Rotel because it's good for everything, spaghetti, lasagna, shrimp Cajun spaghetti, all that. A little bit of chili mix, a little bit of chili spice. Have some of this. Also, I am the worst rice cooker in the world. I can make a mean jambalaya or lasagna, whatever, but I cannot cook rice correctly. So, Uncle Ben's. Okay, let's start sauteing this a little bit more. Ow. Now, depending on how spicy you like your chili, which I like mine very spicy. I have Creole seasoned Zatarain or Slap Your Mama, which is from New Orleans, okay? So you're gonna put a little bit of that in there, which will be delicious. Or chili powder. So there's many things, and obviously you're gonna do salt and pepper, but. Okay. Eric loves this, and he'll be home any minute, and he's gonna be so happy when he finds out this is what's for dinner. This is totally a man's meal, but girls like it too. They totally do, it's just delicious. There's this one part of this that's not cooking all the way. Um, I even got Frito scoops. I like to eat mine with Cheez-Its, even though that's weird. And then obviously, Mexican cheese. I don't know if this is a fatty thing of ground beef, but I definitely, there's a lot of fat in here. So you should drain your fat. Some people like to keep it. Um, I don't need to. That's hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain some of this fat. Watch out, pups. Oh yeah, that's a lot of fat. Ow. Okay, so, all right, so we're back in business. So now that the meat, for the most part, is sauteed, Next, what we're gonna add is the uh, rotel. No, 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 the onions. We're gonna mix that all around. Yummy. We're gonna go ahead and do the rotel. My dogs are looking at me thinking I'm talking to a stranger. I wouldn't drain it, just let all the juices go on in there. Gonna mix that all around for some goodness. And I'd go ahead and salt and pepper it a little bit. Okay, a little pepper. Now my mama gave me this recipe and throughout how many times I've made it, you know, you add a little thing here and there for yourself to make it your own. I get most of my recipes from my mama. Now we're gonna add the vegetable garden, okay? Now ladies, this is going to make your men very happy coming home to a big pot of chili watching your Sunday football. Now if Eric wasn't playing football, he would be so happy, that's why he's getting it the day before he leaves to go to his away game. Way, Roman's tummy, wait. 
Way to a man's heart is through his tummy. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna stir it all around. Yummy! Now, I'm gonna add McCormick Mild Chili Seasoning Mix. Stir that all in there real nice. Jake, don't do that. Just trying to eat Lulu's food. Stirring this all around. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of Slappy Mama seasoning from New Orleans. If you don't have Slappy Mama, then get Zatarans. This makes it a little spicy. Just a little bit spicy for your spicy lovers out there, okay? Okay. Now that that's done, I'm going to put, I think all my lids are in the dishwasher. So we're gonna let that simmer do its thing. <coughs> now with uh, Uncle Ben's ready rice, all you have to do is put it in the microwave for 90 seconds and uh, it's ready to go. You just put a little in a bowl and put the chili on top. Now when this is done cooking though, I'm gonna put a little bit of cheese on top and some fritos. Now you notice that I didn't put the chili powder. That's up to you, but I already put the chili seasoning so I really don't need that a good look at it. I get really impatient, but it doesn't take long. So I'll show y'all what this looks like. Look how yummy. Jake! Hi! Hi, little baby! Hi! Alright, alright, stop! He's a crazy dog. So the chili is cooking, hi baby, is cooking really, really nice. Yeah! And we'll put a little cheese, like I said. Put a little Fritos, maybe some saltines. Ow! Or um, Cheez-Its, try the Cheez-Its. I really like the Cheez-Its with it. It's very, very yummy. So, I'm gonna let this simmer a little bit more. I would just let it cook on low for like five, eight, 10 minutes. It depends, you know, how fast your stove is cooking. Um, but I hope it turns out to be fabulous. Enjoy your Sunday or Monday football. Have a nice bowl of chili, and I hope you like this recipe. Okay, bye!